Steven Seagal versus Brock Lesnar. Ever imagined both of these men going up against each other in a fighting ring? Now that would be one fight you'll definitely want to witness. The famous action star and martial artist versus the beast incarnate. There are just so many ways this could go down. Of course, we may never get to see this happen for real. However, it's only right that we analyze what could be the outcome of this battle if it ever did happen. Would you love to find out our verdict in a hypothetical duel between Steven Seagal and Brock Lesnar? Then be sure to stick around till the end of the video as we attempt to predict the outcome of this matchup. Let's take the fight into the ring, shall we? But before we do so, let's take a closer look at the lives of our contenders. First up, we have none other than the action star and martial artist, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. On April 10th, 1952, Stephen Frederick Seagal was born to Patricia Ann, a medical technician, and Samuel Seagal, a high school math teacher. The family lived together in Lansing, Michigan. While Seagal may have grown to be a successful American actor, screenwriter, and martial artist, nothing in his childhood pointed him in this direction. In fact, Seagal was a weak child who suffered from asthma but he wasn't going to let that stand in his way. And so, as a young boy, Seagal began his martial arts training under Fumio Domura. After graduating high school, he then moved to Japan to teach English. During that same period, he went on to improve his martial arts skills by learning Aikido, Judo, Kendo, and Karate. But that wasn't all. Seagal also opened an Aikido dojo, making him the first Westerner to own a dojo in Japan. By the time he returned to the US, Seagal opened another Aikido dojo in California, and thus began the superstar's dojo opening spree around the world. As you might be able to tell, Seagal gained skill and dexterity from all his training, and so when he broke into the entertainment industry, it was quite easy for him to fit into action hero characters. In fact, by 1987, he was already working on his very first film titled Above the Law, which turned out to be a huge success. The movie's success would also become the trigger that opened several doors of opportunity for Seagal in the industry. Considering that Aikido wasn't a very popular martial art at the time, Seagal's movies became the first touch point for many people today who practice Aikido. Seagal brought a unique style into his movies on camera that made the martial art really attractive. Little wonder public interest in Aikido skyrocketed at about the same time Seagal made his entry into Hollywood. Aside from being the action star in almost all his movies, Seagal also took the role of a choreographer, meaning the star choreographed the martial art fight scenes in several movies, working alongside actors like Toshiro Mufun and Sean Connery. Still wanting to make practical use of his skills, Seagal decided to become a bodyguard for several celebrities. Two of the biggest names he worked for include Michael Ovitz and Kelly LeBrock. While Seagal was never known to have fought in the UFC, he did train a couple of fighters there. In fact, Seagal was said to have trained Anderson Silva and Lyoto Machida, with Machida giving credit to Seagal for being instrumental in his success in the 2011 UFC 129. Presently, Seagal has earned a seventh Dan Black Belt in Aikido and has spent several decades as an instructor of the art. Seagal has also earned black belts in Karate, Judo, and Kendo. Brock Lesnar On July 12, 1977, Brock Edward Lesnar was born to Stephanie and Richard Lesnar in Webster, South Dakota. The family raised three sons and a daughter on their farm. During his high school days, Lesnar was a very impressive amateur wrestler. After graduating high school, Lesnar proceeded to wrestle at the University of Minnesota and became an NCAA Division I heavyweight champion. But it was after college that Lesnar took them as Lesnar soon won the heart of the crowd. 
Lesnar was indeed a force to be reckoned with, as he had great intensity and was known for sending his opponents to the famous Suplex City. The Beast, as he's also called, even broke a record when he won his first WWE Championship in 2002, making him the youngest champion in the league. A star indeed. However, Lesnar is a very ambitious man who loves to explore, so he would go on to test other waters. For still determined to make something of his life, Brock decided to try out MMA. And so in 2008, he was signed with the UFC, with his debut match being against former champion Frank Mir. Unfortunately, Lesnar lost that match. Soon though, the world famous fighter was back in the ring and ready to prove himself. He clinched the UFC heavyweight title shortly after and held on to this title for over 700 days before eventually using it to Cain Velasquez. The six foot three inch, 130 kilogram athlete is indeed great at takedowns and pounding his opponents. However, that's not all there is to the beast as he also packs some insane techniques up his sleeves. Lesnar has huge experience with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and his submissions are nothing but a nightmare once executed. And it definitely will be an insult if we don't mention the powerful strikes he generously serves. So whether it's in the WWE or in the UFC, Brock Lesnar remains a powerhouse. Now that we've met both fighters, let's see if we can determine how a fight between the two would go down. As usual, we'll be making this decision based on the categories of fighting pedigree, physique, skill, and improvisation. For each of these, we'll be awarding 10 points, and as usual, the fighter with the highest number of points will be declared the winner. Fighting pedigree. It is already quite clear who wins this round, especially when it comes to experience and expertise and strength. While Seagal has had experience in four different martial arts and has trained several MMA fighters, he hasn't ever stood up against any real fighter in real life. Lesnar, on the other hand, has had a great experience in his fields, winning championship after championship. His wrestling career and ability to take down any force that comes his way gives him an upper hand. So, Lesnar gets eight points, while Seagal gets seven points. Physique. It may be a little hard to get ourselves a winner in this round, seeing that both men come very close here. Seagal, on the one hand, in his prime, stood at six foot four inches and weighed 130 kilograms while Lesnar, on the other hand, stands at six foot three inches and weighs about 130 kilograms. Therefore, both men get eight points. Skill. Of course, it does take a lot of skill to be a master in any kind of martial art. And with the combination of his skills in the other martial arts, Seagal stands as an armed man. However, it is impossible to discredit Lesnar's incredible wrestling skills. This already gives the upper hand to deliver insane takedowns and grounded pounds to dominate the fight. This is yet another hard nut to crack, and so both fighters get eight points. Improvisation. With improvisation, Seagal is popularly known for his skills, like the wrist lock and his counter moves. If we are being honest, these can't leave anyone guessing. Then we have Lesnar with his wrestling skills and insane submissions. We can tell that once this fight gets to the ground, Seagal will have no place to run. So for this round, Lesnar gets eight points and Seagal gets seven points. Verdict. On to the verdict. Judging based on our categories, the winner of this match would be none other than the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar with 32 points, while Steven Seagal comes in very close with 31 points. Indeed, both of these men are incredibly skilled and experienced in their various fields, and so this would be a very intense duel. So what do you think? Do you agree with this verdict? Or do you believe that one would outdo the other? 
Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and would love more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification so you are the first to know when we drop a new video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.